How's it going guys? Daniel Mike here coming to you as always from the Digital Warfare 24-7 forums and today I'm going to be bringing you guys a gameplay of Kill Confirmed on Plaza. Now if you guys notice that my voice sounds a little bit different that is because Santa was very good to me this year and actually gave me a blue snowball microphone. So now no more recording with those X11s, no more audio issues, it should be really really clear tones for you guys to listen to now on my voiceovers. So like I said, I am playing some Kill Confirmed here, and this is actually some solo Kill Confirmed. I usually play in a party, but on this particular day it was a elite clan op where um, everyone that's a part of our clan is trying to get as many confirms as possible, and then our clan gets ranked as far as what percentage we come in at uh, as compared to the other clans. Uh, and based on that we get to level up our clan and get different unlocks and rewards for that. So basically I can always get a lot more confirms when I play by myself because I don't have to fight my teammates for uh, the confirms and for the kills. When I play kill confirmed I can usually manage to be at least top two on the leaderboard. Um, in this particular one I'm going up against a clan of three players and then three of the Christmas noobs who are not giving a very good account of themselves and probably uh, have something to do with how us able to put up such a good game but still I was pretty pleased with the result here and I thought I would use this gameplay to showcase a little bit about how I play Kill Confirmed. Now when I'm playing by myself I want to maximize a couple different things in my Kill Confirmed build and one of the main ones is going to be speed. I really like using lightweight together with extreme conditioning and what that does is it makes me able to dash out and get those tags really fast. It also lets me react really quickly to when the enemy spawn flips. So if I see on my UAV that they flip to one side or the other, I can quickly dash over and start uh, collecting some more confirms, some more tags there. So that would be one thing that I really like on my Kill Confirm class. Now another one is going to be Ghost because I do not want to be seen as I'm moving about. Now this works very well because as you guys know Ghost will only protect you from UAVs if you are moving. And with a class that is very mobile it sort of maximizes both of those aspects. Now for the weapon here that I'm using, I'm using the Golden MP7 with uh, laser sight and suppressor. The MP7 has quickly become one of my favorite weapons, um, that along with the PDW. I think both of these weapons are so dominant because they have a very high capacity, very controllable recoil, and uh, some pretty darn good range, you know, they can, they can get kills quite easily out to medium range, and as you see there with the uh, laser sight, it really is extremely potent at close range as well, even though it doesn't maybe have the uh, fastest rate of fire in the group. Now I do tend to lean a little bit uh, further towards the PDW most of the time and that's because the PDW has the advantage of those extra 10 rounds and it also has, in my opinion anyway, um, it feels like it has a lot more stopping power at range and I believe the stats back that up as well that the uh, PDW57 can carry that damage out to uh, much further than the MP7 can. The MP7, however, has uh, several things going for it and that the recoil is extremely predictable, extremely controllable. Uh, for that reason, I enjoy using it. And uh, also the reload is a lot faster, although again, you're sacrificing the 10 rounds in your magazine as the PDW starts with the default 50 round magazine. Now, there are a couple things that I'd like to talk about here moving towards the end of this commentary. One of them is, as you guys are aware, it's been about a month since I've released any kind of gameplay commentary. Now a lot of this had to do with the fact that it was the holidays and there was a lot of family time, but a lot of it also had to do with the fact that I've been a little bit disappointed as to what I've seen the Black Ops 2 metagame to be. And what I mean by that is that even though a lot of the weapons and the perks, um, pretty much all of that is fantastically well balanced, those things don't tend to dictate the metagame quite as much as lag and lag compensation. And earlier, especially uh, later in November, earlier in December, I was really feeling pretty down on this game and on myself as far as my skills as a Call of Duty player were concerned because, geez, I could just not land shots on anybody. But when that patch came out, all of that started to change a little bit, and even though I do feel that lag compensation and lag in general does dictate the flow of the game a little bit more than it should. For instance, when you spawn in, uh, within your first couple gun engagements, you can usually pretty much immediately tell, you know, is this 
is this going to be a game where I'm going to be fairly matched with people? Am I going to have an edge over people? Or are other people going to be running around corners and shooting me before I even have a chance to react? And this game, for instance, is one where I think I had a bit of a connection edge over most of the players I was playing against. And it really seems to me that in all of the uh, YouTube gameplay that I see nowadays, that's what it takes to get a good gameplay, is you have to have that connection pulling for you. And that's honestly something that has disappointed me about Black Ops 2 a little bit. But as I continue to play it, you know, I'm finding more and more good routes to run on maps, new combos to play, and I'm finding that there actually is a good deal to explore in the Black Ops 2 metagame. So I'm going to get back into commentating a little bit more frequently, hopefully. Um, I'm going to talk a lot about different changes that I think can be made to the metagame, different ways you can take advantage of the metagame um, to favor whatever strategies you want to use. Uh, just basically putting out some videos that dive deeper into the metagame and explore new strategies and ideas. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to you guys later.